All right. We're going to talk about now, we're going to talk about medicine wheels, which are Native American sites, Native American as in the U.S. and Canada. And specifically, we're going to talk about one called the Bighorn Medicine Wheel. The Bighorn Medicine Wheel is in the Bighorn Mountains, which is in the state of Wyoming. And this is located very high up on a ridge. In fact, it's about 10,000 feet up. Very high up here on the top of this ridge. You see this is a mountain ridge up in here. There's a dirt road that you can take that winds you all the way back up in here. Very high. When was this built? We really don't have any idea because when they built it, they just moved rocks around. And so there's no way to really tell exactly when it was built. Guesses are anywhere from 1,000 to about 1,800. They know that the Native Americans that were there when the settlers came in the late 1800s, and they asked them about it, they said it was ancient to them, but it was still a very special site, and people would go to it. They would take pilgrimages to this site because it was a very special site. So this is what it looks like if we get a little closer. You'll see it's actually this circle wheel in here. You can't see it very well. This is a pathway so you can go walk around it. And this is the dirt road to get up there. And then there's a parking lot right there. And you can walk around and look at the area. It is this. So you can see this is the modern path that you saw up here. Parking lots over here. Path comes in. You walk around the outside. Modern fence here. But what they did is they took a whole bunch of rocks and they put them in a, like a bicycle wheel pattern. So in the center here, this is the hub of it, they have lines of rocks coming out in specific directions. We don't think there's any significance to the number of how many spokes there are, and I will show you other medicine wheels. This is not the only one, there are quite a few, like 20 or 30 of them, throughout Wyoming, Montana, up into Alberta, Canada. But, um, and they're all different shapes, and they all look differently. This one's interesting because we think this one has astronomical alignments, which is why we're talking about it in this class. But if you look, there's some stuff that you, that's very interesting. So they made this circle. They made the hub of it. But then they put these rock groupings right here. They were kind of like rock circles. North Seas are right on the outside of this bigger wheel. But this one up here, this is towards the north up here, is inside of the circle. It's not on the outside, it's on the inside. And then there's one that's actually separated a little distance. Instead of being right on the circle, it's separated. Is that significant? We don't know. It may be, it may not be. But people have looked at it and said, okay, if we use these big ones, especially in the center, are there any objects that make an astronomical alignment? Were they trying to do some kind of astronomical alignment? We know that the Native Americans would come up here and they would leave little trinkets and stuff in these different areas. That was part of their pilgrimage to get there. It was a religious experience for them. And you realize it was up at 10,000 feet. They didn't live up here. It would have been a climb and a ways to get here. It would have been something you would have done um, as a trek to try to get to this place. All right, these are the astronomical alignments. If you see... Right here, this is a little confusing, <laughs> but here is the one on the inside, so it's rotated some, okay? This is, yeah, so they labeled them A, B, C, D, E, the center is O, okay? So from this one that's on the inside, that's where they think the viewing position was. So from that viewing position then, you would look out through the other ones, and try to see if there was significant. Now, are these all significant? I don't know, because you see from here through here, Aldebaran rises right here. Well, if you pick any point and you have about a few degrees there, over the year, you probably find at least one bright star that rises there. Aldebaran is a very bright star in Castellan Taurus, and so it's not a surprise that that would rise there that you would find another one. If you look through here, Rigel rises here. This is in the constellation of Orion. Um, down here, Sirius rises. If you go from the, this through the center, from the middle through the center, 
It lines up with Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. That one may be significant, um, but we don't know for sure. The Rigel one, you see, doesn't even hit the center of it. It's off a little bit, so that might be speculation there. And then down here, this is another bright star. This is called Fulmahat. And it's a very bright star out by itself, which is kind of makes it an interesting bright star because the bright stars seem to clump together in the sky. There's lots of them in the winter sky. There's a lot in the summer sky. And then in the fall and spring, there's not a lot of bright stars. Fulmahat is one of these brighter stars that's not in the uh, winter or summer sky. But the more interesting one, the one I care about, is this one right here. See this one. Remember, this was the one where the circle was outside of the medicine wheel. And when it was outside of the medicine wheel, you look through the center, it's exactly where the summer solstice sun rises. Makes me wonder that, or makes me think that that is probably legitimate. Okay? Now, the summer solstice sunset goes from here through the center, and you see it this way. So these are the two most interesting ones, I think. The summer solstice sunset and the summer solstice sunrise. So those are the ones that I would want you to know about this. Now, are there other medicine wheels? Uh, yes, there are. There are many more medicine wheel places. This is not the only one that exists. And so they looked and said, oh, if this one has astronomical alignment, do all the medicine wheels have astronomical alignments? Well, they don't. And so that's why some Archeos astronomers tend to speculate that maybe these are just happen chance and it wasn't really planned that way. Let me show you. Okay, here's a few more pictures. So this is sunrise. We're standing at the position outside, looking right over the center, and you see the summer solstice sunrise coming up right over the mountains. All right, these are some pictures showing the, essentially a panorama of it so you can see it in better detail. You notice there's still stuff in here. Modern Native American, people that are descended from Native Americans, still revere this as a sacred place. And it's protected because of that. That's why people that come to visit, you're really not allowed to go onto this site. You have to stay outside the ropes because it's protected and it's a Native American site. But there's still stuff that is left inside of this. Um, tribute, whatever you want it to be, I'm not sure. But here you can see better. This is the one that was outside the line, outside the circle. That one looking over the center, that was what we were looking at. That one goes right to the summer solstice sunrise. Good. And this was the other one on the top. If you stand around over this one and you look over the center, that direction is towards the west. That's the summer solstice sunset. All right. Here are other medicine wheels. I told you there were a bunch of other ones. That was only one of them. If you look, they're all different shapes, but they can, we call them all medicine wheels. And again, none of the tribes that we know of, the people, the Native Americans that are recent, built any of these. These were built by their predecessors before their time. They were used by them. They considered them sacred places, but they were not built by them. And if you look, none of the other ones really have any significant astronomical alignments, which is why that's the only one we really talk about. Some of these other ones you think might, but there's so many circles and stuff, you can kind of make any alignment you want. So it's, there's nothing really significant in to say that one is very special over the other one. All right, that's it for the medicine wheels.